Okay, lunch time. Hey everyone, happy Monday. Guess who forgot to bring her camera today into work, slash the warehouse. So yeah, I basically was at the warehouse pretty much all day, packing all of your orders with Liv, and then got home, had something to eat, um, then went for a walk, and now I'm here. I'm about to do my skincare, so I thought I would show you guys what I've been using. I've actually really been enjoying this Fenty Beauty, no, Fenty Skin Moisturizer, so I've been using that. Actually, should I have put retinol on today? Hmm. No, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'm mixing it with my Isle of Paradise tanning drops just to give my face a bit of color. Maybe I should have put the retinol on. Oh, well. Usually, if I do put retinol on, which is usually like once or twice a week, I'll put that on underneath my moisturizer. Blend that down my neck, on my ears. Then I'm just going to use this Clinique eye cream. And that's it. But yeah, that's my skin camp. We're going to have a chef good meal for dinner. Big Brother's on as well, so we'll watch that. And just have a chilled one. I need to put away my washing and towels that were washed today. But yeah, nothing really um, much to update you guys on what happened today. Tuesday. I just popped into the warehouse because I'm expecting a delivery. Um, as I said, I ordered some stuff, although I think two of the items won't be coming for another month, but I ordered like a vase, which actually matches one of the pieces that I got and um, Riley ordered two plants, so we just put it all in the same order for her house. So they should be coming within the next 20 minutes. I got a package yesterday from M Fennel. She does amazing artwork and prints. And I thought this would be cool either here or when I set up my study space in the apartment, which by the way, I'm still waiting for the freaking table that I ordered, but it'll be worth it because it's so cute. I should actually probably check the tracking for that actually, um, cause it's coming from overseas. But um, let's see the prints. Oh my god, I love it. So I got the cream with the blue. And then, candles on it. And then I got the blue with the cream. I just need to find either frames or something that I can put them in. So nice. So they're from M. M. F I'll leave it down below, anyways. M. Fen. So cute. I love them. These are the two prints next to each other. How cute would they be? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Okay, I need to leave soon, but I got one of my parcels from N. Gold. So I ordered. Sure this was on sale. It was doing like a 30% off sale or something, and I had my eye on this for ages. And then when I saw the email, I was like, this is fate. As annoying as they are, I know like you know, mark like email marketing from brands can be like annoying, but it's worth it. Because if you've gotten your eye on something and you're subscribed to their mailing list, you're most likely to get like a discount code or a sale. Oh, so this comes inside it. Oh my god, it's stunning. Look at that. Cute little vase. 
that'll match the coffee table. Okay, I love it. I need to go though. Actually, let's see what it looks like here. Shit. Oh my god, that is so nice. And my fake flowers in there. <laughs> that doesn't look cute. I feel like roses look really cute in that. Or like maybe a bigger bunch of flowers, or even just no flowers, to be honest. These are my flowers that are from home. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, I gotta go. I'm getting my nails done now. One of them's fallen off. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I end up getting. Morning. It's 6.10 and I'm off to essentials because the other girls couldn't do 7.30, so I was like, it's okay. <laughs> I'll live by getting up that early. So I'm doing it. So yeah. Not sure how Riley's gonna go about coming, but um, we'll see, we'll soon find out. Okay, I just finished boxing. Was hard as usual. I just went to my PO box and picked up a parcel. I think one of them's a return from Jazz Handmade, but I got another one. Let's see what it is. Oh my God, my battery's about to die. Surely we've got enough juice. Didn't have enough battery, but I'm on my phone now. Midnight Mischief. Cute. How cute are these PJs? Stop. They're so nice and so soft. Yeah, I'm going to go home now, have a shower, maybe make a protein shake, get ready for work. I've got ages actually, because usually I only have about 45 minutes if I do the 7.30 class, but I'm an, I've got an extra hour to chill. So yeah, maybe I'm going to become a 6.30 essentials girl. Who knows? Hello everyone. I haven't vlogged much today or actually really at all to be honest since i got back from essentials but yeah i was basically in the warehouse all day but we are on our way to what i wasn't paying attention <laughs> do you even know what i said no enjoy anyways we're on our way to go and pick up our new tv so excited we've been wanting one pretty much ever since i well we moved here in january because the tv that is in our apartment i literally bought I reckon it's like over 10 years old because I brought that from home from mum's house and that's a TV that I had when I was like in high school, that TV. It doesn't even have Netflix. It only has, what's that, what is it called? Free to air TV. Look, he's clapping at you because you've blocked the, um, uh, you've blocked the freaking, dude, he literally just clapped. You can go around. Oh my God, how embarrassing for him. But there's plenty of room to go around though. <laughs> I know. Look. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it. We're going and picking up our new TV. So excited. Basically, what I was saying is a TV that we have now doesn't even have um, Netflix, like, inbuilt. We've had to, like, HDMI it from my laptop. Doesn't have... What else doesn't it have that normal TVs have? It's just got, like, free-to-air TV, like, Channel 9, Channel 7. Definitely due for an upgrade. And we're finally getting around to getting one. My pants are so loud. Here we are. Okay, which ones? This is the new one. The TV literally just fit in the boot. <laughs> it took up the whole boot. Now, how are we gonna like take this up? Should we get a trolley just to put it on the trolley? Because surely we're not carrying that. that Maybe I go get the trolley. The guy just carried it. Maybe I go get the trolley. Whoa. You doing the back? Where do you start? Oh, anywhere. I don't think that is a, is it? Oh, okay, go. That's your way it. Just, well, will it melt or something? I don't know. Maybe yeah. just take it off. Look how thin it is. Oh, 
Nice. Whoa. It looks so good. Oh, that's, so sensitive. That's funny. This is hard. <laughs> Do you want me to try? I don't know how I'm meant to do PT this afternoon because that was such a hard session. We did some really cool combos, by the way. I just don't know how I'm going to do PT today, but it's not until 2 o'clock anyways, and it's only 9.30, so I should be right. Um, it's like literally the only day that they can both fit me in on a Thursday, so yeah, Thursdays is the only days that I would train twice a day, otherwise absolutely not. I don't know how people can do morning and nighttime training. I guess like a walk isn't really included because I always like to go in for a walk um, just to get out of the house and stuff but yeah so what am I doing today mm. the TV is amazing so we ended up getting oh the LG OLED LG OLED it's the one that I posted on my Instagram story I had heaps of replies on my story when I did it and so many of you that had it was like oh my god it's the best TV it's definitely worth it because it wasn't cheap it really wasn't cheap but I feel like if I'm upgrading I'm, I'm gonna upgrade properly and get something really good and it was so good I ended up watching some YouTube videos last night because I feel like I haven't properly sat down and watched a YouTube video because I don't really like watching YouTube videos on my phone like I want to get the full experience and watch them on the big screen and if I did want to do that with my old TV I would have to plug my HDMI cord into my laptop and then plug it into the TV um, and that's how I would watch it but it's a big ordeal Guess what's just arrived my study desk oh my god I'm so excited so that's gonna go here not sure what we're going to do about this mirror. I've just had it here. It's from Perth. Possibly put in the warehouse. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure if I'm liking that kind of vibe. But I don't know. Maybe once everything's set up, it could look nice here. But yeah, that's where the study little nook will be. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys what table I got. So I'll be busy today um, putting it together. So I end up showing you guys that I got this from Byron. Because, yeah, I'm obsessed with the oat berry vegan granola. So I make, like, a really thick protein shake. I use, like, frozen bananas and ice to thicken it up. And then I use 50 grams of this on the top. So then I can drink it and also eat it as a smoothie bowl. So good. Oh, my God, yum. I made that so thick but like the vegan granola is elite mm. it's so good okay I'm literally filming a voiceover for a reel that I did with GHD and I just want to show you guys the reality of getting a freaking voiceover because I actually can't speak. I've literally had to do this 10 times. Yeah. I don't usually like, like writing a script and then reading it because I just feel like it doesn't really come across. Like it comes across as like robotic. Like, I don't know. So I, I always just like to think of what I'm going to say and then just like say it. And I need to say it all in 33 seconds without stopping. So let me see how many times I can do it until I get it right. Okay. I've got some notes here. Pissing. Okay, so I've been loving having my hair curly recently. So I've been using the GHD Curl Thin Wand Curler to curl my hair. And it is amazing. So what are you... Okay, so I've been loving having my hair curly recently. So I'm using the GHD Curve Thin Wand wand curler today this one i got from rye.com.au they're an australian retailer with so many different brands um as you can see i'm just sectioning off the hair and it was so easy to use so all ghd products actually have a auto sleep mode so if you forget to see i went so well and then i've just forgotten what to say Ugh. wait maybe i can edit that no that's just too it's too ad no nah, i don't like it to be too like that's just addy like, I don't like that. Like, obviously, it's an ad. 
but like I just don't like it sounding like a TV commercial. You know what I mean? I'm doing it all again. <laughs> okay. So I'm loving, yeah. So I'm loving having my hair curly recently. So I'm trying out the new GHD Curve Thin Wand Curler today. Um, so it's, what did I just say? Okay, so I love having my hair curly recently. So I'm trying out the new GHD Curve Thin Wand Curler today. I'm doing a little tutorial for you guys. It is so easy to use. So as you can see, I'm just sectioning out my hair. I got this one from rye.com.au, which is an online retailer with so many different brands. The one thing I love about GHD products is the auto sleep mode. So if you think you've left it on, it'll just turn off itself. Um, so as you can see, I'm just putting a bit of serum in. This is also from GHD, zhuzhing it up. And then I just decided to put a cute outfit on and this is the final look. So good, it just makes my hair look so thick. That's the winner, surely. <laughs> Pissing at the behind the scenes. Like obviously I do mean everything that I say. Obviously otherwise I wouldn't be posting it. Like I would never say something or post something that I didn't actually believe in because then at the end of the day it just makes me look stupid. Um, so everything that I did say is true. Like it is actually really cool. Um, if you are wanting that like really bouncy curly look um, But yeah, like it's just sometimes it's hard to because obviously brands are paying Me to promote their product. So at the end of the day, we are trying to sell the product but like I just don't like when things sound too much like an ad so it like puts people off like I want people to be able to like believe what I'm saying if that makes sense. And I know like as soon as people see ad, they're automatically like, oh, well, it's an ad. So it must be shit because they're getting paid for it. Um, I actually experienced that recently when I was talking about Jay's Health. You guys know I bought their SUPS, especially the PMS and hormone supplement to get my periods back. And I was obviously documenting it here on the vlogs and um, I did reach out to them and to basically thank them for making that tablet because without that, my periods wouldn't have come back and I honestly didn't know what to do next. So I was like, I just wanted to say like, it's been five months since my last period started taking your tablets, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the story. And um, they're like, oh my God, that is amazing. We would love to work together for you to like share, you know, your story. So obviously like stuff like that, I'm going to, I'm obviously going to accept because I've genuinely, like I've literally bought the product and it's literally worked for me. So when opportunities like that come my way, it'd be stupid for me not to, um, like, you know, take that job opportunity. So anyways, we always have to disclose and by we, I'm, I'm talking about other like content creators. We always have to disclose if it is an ad or if we're getting paid for it or if it's affiliate code. Um, so yeah, obviously I wrote ad because it was an ad and, um, I got a reply saying, oh my God, I was so invested and I was so, um, you know, interested. I'm having the same issues, but you kind of put me off when you wrote ad. Like I get it, but also I feel like she may not know that I actually did purchase them myself, even though I did say it in the story, but you know, people just say, all sorts um, <laughs> when they're promoting products. Maybe she didn't know, or maybe she doesn't watch my vlogs. Um, so yeah, she personally was put off from an ad and I'm, I'm being completely honest, I've been put off from ads because there are so many people that would just promote a product because they're getting paid for it. They don't give a fuck about the brand or the product. They probably haven't even used it. There's, so, there's honestly so many people that ruin it for people that are genuinely obsessed with the brand and the products. Like there is so many. Um, so I, I totally get where she was coming from. So um, yeah, like it's, it's hard, especially when you are required to say certain things that you probably wouldn't normally say, but at the end of the day, like you are getting paid for promoting that product. Most brands are quite lenient and would let me kind of, say what I would usually say and not give me all of these like a big brief or dot points and stuff that I need to cover they kind of trust me to like retain that information and then trust me to like put it out there in my words if that makes sense 
Um, anyways, that's just how I like to roll. So yeah, that's just a little insight on what goes on behind the scenes. So I'm gonna, I think I saved that actually. Yes, yeah, save, wait, did I save it? So I'll save that. I love having my hair curly recently. So I'm um, and you know, sometimes they do come back and say, actually, can you cut that out? It's a bit too casual. Or if I say, not like a swear word, but like I'll say like bloody or freaking nice. Some brands don't like that, which I totally get. But I mean, that's just how I speak. So sometimes I need to like tweak the way I say things, but I would much prefer to say it in a way that I would normally say things rather than being a robot. Do you know what I mean? Basically, me and my management use an app called Asana, which is amazing. I'm I'm sure even if you're not in this industry, like the actual app itself is amazing for like just work in general. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really good to like see everything and submit everything all in the one spot. So I'm going to look for, so yeah, just submitted that. I don't have anything else that I need to submit actually today. So I'm going to go and put together the study table. I'm so excited. I'm going to put you guys on one of these. I probably should have like redone my hair after boxing because it went all cooked, but, um, Oh, did I tell you guys about this book? I think I did on Instagram. You guys need to read it. It is a bit dark. Like it is a bit hectic. Um, and it may be triggering depending, but it's a good read. Like it's, it's fucking hell. It like, it, it takes you on an emotional roller coaster, but a really, really good read. I haven't read anything after this um, yet. I feel like I needed some time to like, recover literally okay so i'm guessing this is the tabletop so let's do that last Okay, here she is. It's not bolted yet because Peter's not back, but I love it. So cute. So I'm thinking like for over there, maybe like a nice floor lamp or something. And I've just ordered a little, I don't think that's gonna stay there. I think that might, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Cause I don't really think it'll go with the theme of the warehouse. I don't know, maybe it can stay there. Not sure, but it's just like really big for the space. Um, I ordered like a wavy um, silver like book stand for there. So I'm so excited for that to come and I'll show you guys obviously. But yeah, this is it. So nice. I'm thinking I need to get like some sort of maybe like rug or you know one of those like clear mats, but that might look a little bit ugly. I don't know. Unless it's okay like that. Just need to obviously decorate the table. I wanna have like a couple of books here, maybe a candle. I don't know if that's gonna stay there. Obviously have my prints on the wall as well, which I need to get frames for. But yeah, it's gonna look so cute. I'm so excited. Good morning. I'm about to go to boxing. By the way, how cute is this jumper? I got a package from H&M, like gifted to me yesterday. And how cool is it? I've been trying to find one this colour for ages. I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, hey, should I have some cool stuff? I'll show you what else I got when I get back. Or I'll probably be wearing it to work, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm in the warehouse today. We live. And yeah. That's about it. I woke up with a massive pimple on my face. Look at it, it's like the most awkward spot. I think I'm gonna have to um powder it <laughs> or something. Anyways, I'll speak to you later. Okay, lunchtime. KFC is next door, so I don't usually have like I actually can't remember the last time I had like Macca's or KFC, so I never have it. But they've got this like crunch, yeah. I've got condom to getting a meal, so 
We're made heaps of TikToks. Well, not heaps, too. Heaps. <laughs> oh my god, yum. I actually want to see what it looks like. Yum. Yeah, that's the crunch, Zinger crunch box, but because I don't like spicy and I'm a pussy, I just asked for normal chicken. So yeah, I'm difficult. See, I couldn't eat a Pepsi Max. I mean, drink. <laughs> Hey. Liv drinks normal coke. Not coke, no sugar. Not diet coke. Yeah. No. I haven't had normal coke in like literally five years. Two, four. No. I've always just... I don't even I don't even remember actually drinking normal coke ever. Like I've just always yeah. thought like, oh yeah, diet coke because I'm yeah. skinny. <laughs> and then I've just like, I don't know. Like, I've just not ever drank normal Coke because I just thought it was fattening. Yeah, but, like, people don't. how many calories are in that? It's actually not, I think, uh, 43 calories. Oh, no. Oh. That's per 100 calories. 161, which isn't a lot, but the sugar is, like, it's, like... That's a lot. Okay, Liv's gone home. I'm just waiting on Peter to come pick me up. Oh, yeah, I'll show you guys my outfit. It's something a bit fun with my hair that I saw on Pinterest, actually. Outfit. I got this from Venom the other day. This really comfy tracksuit, and then this is my hair. Quite cool. It gives me like Pirates of the Caribbean vibes a bit, but I mean I don't hate it. Tonight we're all going for dinner at Mexi Cali. Me, Riley, Vida, and Peter. So that should be fun. I haven't been there in ages, and it's so good. I love the food there, and the vibes pretty cool too. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda for tonight and that's all hello i'm back home peter's just cooking is that burning oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> should i clip it yeah it's black. Ah. i placed an order on iconic because i wanted to get a black puffer jacket and I also saw something else that I mentioned. I, did I mention? I'm gonna show you what I got. So this is the puffer. It is from, oh, I don't think it's a brand. And I got the size XL. Oh, it's from Supre. Oh, okay. Supre XL. So I couldn't find any on the Supre website unless I'm blind. Um, or on like, I not Iconic. Uh, Cotton On or what else didn't have it? Cotton On Glassons didn't have them. So I just got this one from Supre. And then this is either going to be a vibe or just like not. A puffer scarf. Ooh. That's a bit cute. It's like that material of like a puffer jacket or vest, but in a scarf. Obviously I'm wearing the wrong outfit. Thoughts? It looks wrong what you're wearing. Yeah, but do you like it? I feel like it's more suited for like a snow trip or something. Yeah. But like, it's still cute. Not sure. Maybe with like a darker or even like a black outfit. Anyway, so I got that. Okay, and then I got a package. This is gifted from Avenue. Never heard of the brand before, but I think they are mainly a brand that stocks like, um, what's it called? Like quality sort of staples. Cute little keepsake bag. So we have, oh, this is cute. Some shorts. Oh, I like them. Very cute. And then I think this might be like the matching. 
the matching blue top. I love this. Because I really wanted to get the Jerf Avenue one because I love the cut of my white top. And the one that I did get from H&M is too small. I should have gotten the large. They only had a small and large when I was there. And it's just, I don't know, a little bit too small on my arms. And I can't kind of like, I don't know. I can't really wear it as like an oversized sort of shirt. It just looks a bit funny. Um, but yeah, that is so cute. I love the color. So thank you so much. I put on it. <laughs> I just started blocking and you're kissing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Heavy flow then. Huh? Yeah, right. Fucking hell. Anyways, back to what I was originally coming in for. And that is to show you guys the fit with something else. So we've got the puffer scarf. We've got, this is the second left stacks top. And then I've just got the trackies that I was wearing today. Fit check. Don't mind that. That needs to be taken down to recycling. Okay, this, these are from Club R London. These cargoes I got ages ago, like literally last winter. Princess Polly, Jerf Avenue. Balenciaga's my bag and then I just started to wear my hair in a plait slick back plait okay we're late are you ready okay let's go I'm so excited I'm so hungry hi can I please get a small decaf latte with almond milk please Hey guys, happy Saturday. I've just pulled up at Skin actually to get a micro. So I was here two weeks ago and I got skin needling and she recommended to come in and get a micro two weeks after. So that's what I'm doing. I've also, I hate when pimples, like they get so big and they like turn into a scab. Like this is flat now, but like it's just red and scabby. So yeah, otherwise I did, um, is it called, no, not face raise, I dermaplane, is it dermaplane, dermaplaned my face with a face raise yesterday, um, I feel like that is the key to like glowing skin, so I usually do it like just before my appointments, because apparently it like helps the products like penetrate a bit better, but um, yeah, I'm going to go in now and I will show you guys after I'm done. Good morning everyone, happy Sunday from the warehouse. I've pretty much just been doing like a big cleaning day today. Mum came over as well and helped clean my apartment. Peter's just off to the gym and I just thought I'd get some work done in here while he's doing that. I ended up going to Spotlight, well not going to Spotlight, um, ordering these like I guess jewelry holders. Well they're not really jewelry holders but I found them on Spotlight and they're on sale. So if you're trying to find something like this, go onto Spotlight. I think they're discontinuing them. I really wanted the one with like bigger drawers, but this is honestly perfect for some of the pieces that I have because they're so small. Um, but yeah, Spotlight, if you guys are on the market. So I might ordered another four, so I'll have six in total. So I've got one here. I'll show you. So I'm gonna have six of these on the top shelf. Now I just wanna like get rid of those because they're just not really aesthetic. They're from Bunnings and I'm pretty sure I got them from like the tools section. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna have all six of them up there and then all these clear ones. And I'm gonna redo all the labels as well with my Dymo so they look like this um, on the bottom. So it'll all be aesthetic, hopefully. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to spend a couple of hours organizing and relabeling with these. And then obviously I've got to edit my weekly vlog as well. But yeah, I feel like this task is going to be really time consuming. But I'm actually really excited because I really love organizing things. That is the plans for today. And then when Peter gets back, we're going to go for a walk because the weather is absolutely amazing today. Well, it has been actually pretty much this whole week. 
which I mean, thank God. By the way, my skin feels amazing after my micro facial that I got yesterday at Skin. But I just feel like this guy is going to be around for a while. It's completely flat, but like, it's just like scabbed on my face. It looks hectic. <laughs> Anyways, I also got a package from Mr. Consistent. I have bought their mixes before and they just came out with a new one called Pash In. I think it's like their take on a porn star martini, I think. Um, and I love passion fruit. So I was just like, um, yes, please. They sent me two of them. So I bought some glasses and I thought maybe me and Liv can make some cocktails tomorrow after work or even while we're working, who knows? Um, but yeah, they sent me, I think this is for the rim of the glass. Yeah, rim garnish, passion fruit sugar. And they sent me two of the bottles of the new Pash In. So thank you so much. Oh, and also a little sneaky bottle of Vody. Grey Goose. I'm actually going to end this vlog here because I want to aim to finish it and then start uploading it. And I want to, like, low-key want to test the Wi-Fi here because we apparently got, like, a really high-speed internet for the warehouse. So I will be the judge of that, uploading my video through the Wi-Fi. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.